Welcome to Henderson Today. I'm Haven Hughes and here's your ready news. September is Suicide Awareness Month. Suicide is not a topic many people talk about, but it is real. In 2017, 681 Arkansans committed suicide, which makes a 37% increase since 1999. Globally, we lose nearly 800,000 people per year. If you or a friend are struggling, take advantage of the Student Counseling Center right here on campus, located in Mooney Hall, or call the Suicide Hotline at 1-800-273-TALK. You are not alone. Spread awareness and reach out to people who are in need of support and love. Recognize, respond, and reach out. Hey there, Reddies. The Health and Counseling Center is offering a variety of events and services throughout the fall semester. Let's check out when these events are and what they're all about. On September 27th, the Health Center will host a free cholesterol screening. Space is limited, so keep a lookout for upcoming emails to schedule your appointment. October marked Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and on October 4th, the Health Center will help raise awareness by setting up a table for the event on Garrison Street from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. On October 25th, you can get your free flu shot at the Garrison Center. If you have insurance, bring your insurance card with you, and if you do not have insurance, you will still receive a free flu shot. On November 6th, you can receive free STD testing during the Take Care of You and Me event from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Garrison Banquet Room. Participants who complete STD testing will also receive a free gift card. All results will be confidential and an appointment is not required. On November 7th, a mobile mammography van will be on campus. Ladies, be sure to watch your Henderson emails for more upcoming information. On November 8th, give yourself a mental health day at the Glow Dance Party. It will be held in the Garrison Banquet Room from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Lastly, on November 30th, an HIV awareness table will be present on Garrison Street from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. That concludes the health and counseling activities for the fall semester. Take advantages of the services being offered, and most importantly, stay healthy, Readies. This has been Harley Wizen Hunt with Henderson Television. Hello, I'm Tierra Burge, and this is your Ready Resources. Do you ever get an essay assignment and you sit down at your computer and your mind goes blank? Since you can't think of how to start off, you feel like giving up. If you have doubts on how to start your essay or how the format for your essay is supposed to be, then I strongly encourage you to go to the Writing Center. Here they help you learn the skills you need to be a good writer. They are located in McBrien Hall, room 108, and their hours are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday. They are also available Fridays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Take advantage of what this campus can offer you. And besides, it's free help. Hey y'all, I'm Kara Motto and this is what grinds my gears. We're going to talk about emotional support animals and how they are none of your business. Emotional support animals are basically service animals for people who have anxiety or depression or whatever they make the cause may be. These animals are to make the owner feel less stressed and feel more calm. So when you and your friends watch that animal take a dump or pee, it really, really makes the owner even more anxious. I have seen countless idiots laugh while an owner picks up after their animal. So here's a news flash for you. We can fix this problem easy by either leaving their mess for you to step on or we can find you and put it on you. The choice is yours. Either you walk away or get pooed in the face. Also, do not come at us with, OMG, can I pet your dog, cat, ferret, fish, or whatever the animal is? Newsflash, 90% of us don't want you to put your Jeremy paws on our fur babies. People are disgusting compared to our animals, and our animals only get a bath like twice a month. You make us uncomfortable and give us more anxiety by screaming how you want to touch our pets, so no touchy. Next week, we're going to complain about annoying classmates and what to do. I'm Kara Motto, and this is what grinds my gears. Hello and welcome back to Modern Classics. I'm your host, Pete Tubbs. Ever since his emergence at the top of the heap of independent filmmakers with 1991's Slacker, Richard Linklater has been one of the most prolific and critically well-received directors of his time. Considering that Monday was the 25th anniversary of his classic 1993 film, Dazed and Confused, now is as good a time as ever to rank the top five Linklater films of his nearly 30-year-long career. So sit back, light one up, and keep living this week on Modern Classics. At number five, we've got Linklater's 2003 film, School of Rock. It's one of the funniest movies he's made, and it's got a career-best performance from Jack Black. One of the two big-budget movies Linklater's made, School of Rock is perhaps also his most successful. Considering it spawned a TV series and a Broadway play, this movie is nothing less than a major success. Add to that the great music and endless rewatchability, and you've got one of the best Linklater films. For number four, I've chosen 2013's Before Midnight. The third in a trilogy of films that follows the same couple over 18 years in their lives, Midnight caps off the trilogy in a typically toned-down but emotionally brutal finale. 
We watch as Jesse and Celine have aged since their first appearance in 1995's Before Sunrise, and we see how romantic relationships are almost never truly fairy tales. This is one of Linkletter's most personal and mature films, and that's saying a lot. Number three was a tough one, but it's got to be 2016's Everybody Wants Some. The quote-unquote spiritual sequel to Days to Confuse, this one follows the first three days of a college baseball team's fall semester in 1980. With a knockout young cast, an incredible soundtrack, and a slightly emotional story, this one is an instant classic that gets better with every viewing. Linkletter has a skill for creating exhilarating scenes using only shots of people talking, and Everybody Wants Some is one of the best examples of th this talent. At number two, we've got the one and only Days to Confuse. What else can I say that hasn't already been said about this one? It's an all-time classic that has made three generations of high school students reevaluate their lives. It's hands down one of the greatest hangout movies ever made. Watch it again. You'll still love it the 15th time, no lie. What else could be number one other than 2014's Boyhood? Filmed over the course of 12 years with the same cast aging on screen along with their characters, Boyhood is one of the most significant cinematic masterpieces of the 21st century. I'll say it right here. It was robbed of the Best Picture Academy Award in 2015 by Birdman. Boyhood is simply one of the best coming-of-age dramas ever made, and it's nearly unequaled in terms of cinematic scope and skill. It's an incredible film, and it represents the peak of Linkletter's career. So there you have it. These are the five movies that I think best encapsulate the genius of Richard Linkletter. Rest assured, however, he hasn't made a bad film yet, so anyone you check out is sure to be a winner. This has been Pistol Pete Tubbs with Modern Classics. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Henderson Today. Find us on YouTube at HSU TV.